Hello everybody and welcome back. The last time we knew the pathway of water from the root hair system to the leaves through the xylem vessels. And today we'll know how the water really ascends through the xylem vessels. At first, people had some assumptions about this. They said that may be the root pressure, or it may be impelvation, or capillarity. But all of the three are wrong. Why they are wrong? The first thing is the root pressure. When the water it moves from the outside medium, the soil medium, into the root hair cells, there is an anosmotic pressure, as we mentioned previously, which makes the water pass from the outside to the inside. So this root pressure uh, makes a continuous column of water but actually this root pressure is very weak as it doesn't exceed two atmospheres it doesn't exceed two atmospheres and the root pressure has another name which is namely called exudation so um, this process of exudation is insufficient for the water to descend through the talent vessels because in some trees they are 100 meters or 150 meters high so there's insufficient because it's uh, easily affected by the uh, environmental um, phenomenon and also there are some plants which are free from the root pressure such as the conifers and pinus and so on the second suggestion is the impervation. As we knew previously that the impervation is done by the uh, colloidal cells which uh, oppose a strong affinity for water, they absorb the water, swell, then pass it to the other cells and so on. But the impervation is just limited uh, to the passage of water from the root cells to the to the beginning of the xylem vessels, but through the xylem vessels there is no imperfection. So the first one is wrong, and the second also is wrong. The third is the capillarity. The capillarity is the ascent of water through the tubes, um, which range from 0.2 to 0.5 uh, millimeters of diameter. But if you know that the fine capillary tube can only let the water for 150 centimeters only, so this one is also insufficient. After all these assumptions, two scientists, which are called H. S. Dixon and J. Dolly, in the year 1895 they made a theory which explains this phenomenon this theory is called cohesion addition transpiration fault theory. Briefly, this theory states that the water is sent through the xylem by the three forces. The first one is the cohesion. There are cohesive forces between the uh, vessels of the xylem and the trochees. We knew that the xylem consists of two kinds of tubes, the trochees and the um, vessels and both of them is perforated so the water pass from the vessel to trochees and so on so both of them attain a cohesive force to the other and this keeps the water column through both of them the second is the adhesion and it was stated that the xylem vessels attain an adhesive force for the water column so it doesn't fall down and the last one is the transpiration fault theory. 
and this is the most important one. Here we do the lower surface of the uh, flat leaf. So this is the lower epidermis. These are the spongy cells, and this is the stoma. So actually the plant is in a continuous need for transpiration. Why is the plant in the continuous need of transpiration? And the transpiration is the most important factor for the ascent of water to the xylem. When these cells here contain water and they absorb it, they lose this water through the transpiration. So, when they lose the water through the transpiration, their concentration of the solution inside them increase, and the ones behind them will contain water. So this will form the osmotic pressure fall. And this osmotic pressure fall will lead the water to pass from these cells to the ones next to them. And then they are transpired again. So the water is loose from here. And accordingly, the plant needs a continuous supply of water. So, this transpiration pull, which pulls the water abstract from the spongy layer tissues to the uh, stoma to be expelled out of the plant, nearly can pull the water through the xylem vessel tubes. Not just that only, it may affect also the absorption of the root hairs for the water outside the plant because the water is in a continuous need for water uh, to be expelled out of the plant. The plant needs a continuous supply of water to be exp expelled out of the plant through the transpiration process. And this is how the water sends through the dalen. And uh, the next time we'll talk about the flowing tissues. And until then, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.